so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a project so go ahead and click this button or you can also go file new file or project either one whatever you feel like now what we want to do is a cute widget project and once we click that we have two different sub options cute GUI and mobile cute application we just want cute GUI application which pretty much just means we want to create a C++ GUI program that we can run on our desktop so go ahead and select this hit choose and now it's gonna say okay give it a name I'm just gonna name it um I'll just name it YouTube I guess YouTube and you know what folder do you want to put it in pretty much where do you want to save it to doesn't really matter hit next now all of this stuff don't press anything that's different it should all be set up correctly by default next next finish again I know I'm going going over everything real quick but this is just to make sure that we have everything set up and working properly I'm not really going to be going into detail in this tutorial just showing you guys a quick example but anyways now that we created a new project and gave it a name what we want to do now is I want to show you guys how to look at the design or the GUI interface because this is a really awesome program. So of course here's the code right here but we're creating a GUI so we want to see what it looks like. Well actually if you expand all of these folders right here you can see all of the files that belong to your uh, project. Of course we got our C++ files.cpp but what we're interested in interested in is this main window dot UI so go ahead and double click that and we can see that we have a GUI right here or at least the beginning of one so just so we can you know learn how to add some simple stuff on this GUI right now let's go ahead and scroll down and look for I don't know I'll just make something like a push button that changes some text on the screen so this push button right here go ahead and drag it out and plop it into your GUI so now we have a push button that says push button pretty cool that's how simple it is we didn't even have to program anything yet this is all taken care of behind the scenes by Q now let's go ahead and grab a label and let's see this label right here looks pretty good so go ahead and grab this label drag it out and put it right next to the button looks pretty good so now what I want to do is again I know that I'm moving really fast, but I just want to, you know, show you guys a real simple program to show you guys that this does indeed work and I'm not just, you know, BSing you. So go ahead and select your button and right click it and press go to slot. Now, again, I know you guys don't know what go to slot means, but I'll explain all this in depth later. Highlight click and select OK. Now, obviously you can see whenever you do that it takes you to the code that is responsible for what happens whenever you click that button and you guys can probably tell that because the function is named on push button clicked so what do we want to happen well let's just go to UI which stands for of course user interface label which was that text that we put on the GUI not the button but the label and what do we want to do to this label well we just want to call a function called set text which of course changes the text on the button and we will just change this to ouch so again one last time I want to repeat I know you guys don't know probably what all of these you know um, functions mean with all of you know this uh, different objects and you know all this stuff but I'll explain it all later what we're interested in now in doing is just running this project so go ahead to this little triangle right here and press run and once we do that it's going to go ahead and build the project which pretty much set everything up and here is our awesome project so go ahead and press this button and make sure you look at this label whenever I do I'm gonna press it right now and it says ouch how awesome is that our very first GUI application with Q so there you go there is a very simple Q application in the next tutorials what I'm gonna be doing is kind of rewinding starting back from scratch and taking you guys through the entire interface what everything is what everything does and I'm gonna give you guys a really basic knowledge of the um, developer program before we start getting into the more in-depth stuff so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Google Plus, and yeah, all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next tutorial.